Hello everyone, it's the Sister Roland, and all I need is a few minutes to talk about Brian McKnight finally speaking on camera. So last week, you know, he had posted on his Instagram these old pictures, stay showing that, you know, he didn't abandon any, uh, any of his, you know, older children. They used to spend a lot of time together, but there were old pictures. There were no recent pictures. And, you know, he already explained why there were no recent pictures because they are estranged, but not abandoned. Estranged and abandoned is two different things. That's what he's trying to say. But anyway, he decided today to come on camera and talk and state and address certain certain things. His reasoning, first of all, he said that, you know, he didn't mind people, you know, talking about him, talking, pushing false narratives about him. He didn't mind that. But when they started to harass and harass his wife and his other children, you know, his other children, that that was it. Okay, you guys, y'all doing too much. So that's why he's, he say he decided to speak and do whatever. But let's, first of all, we all know this is a topic up again is because somebody who had a big platform got triggered by some stuff that was on his page. Pro, uh, a lot of stuff people missed when they went on his page, but this person, whoever it was, they had a big enough following to get things going and then for it to get picked up by other blogs. That's and that's one of the reasons why Brian McKnight is trending again. But in my opinion, I believe he came on camera because, first of all, you know, a lot of people are making money off of this, the fact that he's trending again, whether on YouTube, on their blogs, on their podcasts. So it's probably, you know, tired of y'all pushing false narrative and y'all making money on me. Uh-uh. No, not going to happen. Henceforth, he comes out with a branded video with the Lego logo in the upper right corner, my right. And then he posted a snippet of it on Instagram. And as you see below, it says full link on full video on YouTube. So y'all not going to be making money off of me any longer. If I'm, if anybody going to be making money, I'm going to make money too. So I wouldn't be surprised in my opinion, you know, since it's on YouTube, you know, if he doesn't like what you say, you could send a copyright strike on you, you know, or if you use his, all of his video, send a copyright strike on you, you know, you never know, you never know what people but he has spoken. He said a lot of things in the little few minutes that he, he spoke. He addressed the lawsuit with his daughter. Stating, you know, this, it was like 300, it was like over 300 something thousand dollars. And on his Instagram, he posted the paperwork right here. And it looked like the money was supposed to be paid to a trust. And of course she had lawyers, you know, working for her, but whether she got, I, I think it's like over $300,000. She's not going to get $300,000 because, you know, the lawyers are going to get a good much of that money. Because when we have lawsuits, we, we pick good, we may pick good lawyers, you know, you know, pick a lawyer, but we never ask, you know, what are your fees? Do you charge all hourly what are the charges if I were to win this lawsuit? What would your percentage be? We never ask that. We just pick a lawyer, a good lawyer, somebody who was referred by somebody else. And then when we win, the lawyer ends up getting a lot, a lot of the money. So I don't know how much of that $300,000 she's going to see, but it's not going to be a lot. So was it really worth it? But it's already happened, you know, it already happened or whatever. Then he was stating, it was, uh, he stated that she didn't ask for apology. She didn't ask 
for him to retract his statement, which is true. But I mean, that's over. What well, she probably didn't know. She probably didn't get enough counsel. That's why certain stuff you're going to do with somebody you had a relationship with. If you're going to end up taking them to court, you should seek a lot of counsel and a lot, a lot of counsel. Not saying she probably didn't, but probably not if certain steps were not taken. And then he was talking about his happily ever after. People don't want to see him in his happily ever after. But I'm saying if you happily ever aftering. Why you have to, okay, I understand I'm a big advocate of certain family members. If they're toxic, if they're using you, you know, they don't respect you. You should get, cut them off, cut them off and don't look back. You know, it doesn't matter what, because as soon as you cut them off, most of the time they're going to play victim. They're going to paint you as the bad guy, the bad woman, the bad girl. They're going to be talking about you, but you don't look back. But it's every time he has, okay, something happens and then, you know, he feels the need to defend himself and people, people have different opinions of, you know, when something happens, you have to defend yourself. Not in some cases you have to use, you have to be very wise and use discernment when to say and when not to say certain things, but that's up to, that's to each his own, to each his own. But certain in certain circumstances, it's best, it's best to stay silent and eventually your vindication will come. But, you know, he keep on saying things and the things that he is, is saying, I don't think this is going to turn out very well for him. You know, you cut them off or whatever for, you know, even though you enable them to be those type of adults that only see money but whatever no you know i guess people take they say they take accountability but they have certain aspects where they take accountability but even though he is in his happily ever after but you keep on poking the bear and do saying certain things and posting certain things it's uncalled for it's really uncalled for they didn't respect you they didn't appreciate the sacrifices that you made for, for them. They were ungrateful. I'm going to walk. I'm going to turn my back on you. Well, that's me. Okay. I'm going to turn my back on you. I'm not going to be not going to, I'm going to love you from afar. Still pray for you, whatever. But in certain aspects, I'm going to have to cut you off, but keep on posting different things. Even if this, if, if you felt, you know, your new son, that's your new air. Keep it to yourself. That's between you and your family. Why post it on social media? It doesn't make any sense. And then, of course, you know, naming the, the child Brian McKnight again. I mean, certain stuff, it just doesn't make any sense. If you happily ever after, why you have to, like, keep on throwing shots? If I'm happily ever aftering. I'm enjoying my happily ever after. I'm happily, I'm happy. I'm blessed. I'm enjoying, uh, um, my, that in my case would be my husband and my kids and stuff like that. I'm not looking back to all the toxicity and ungratefulness and the disrespect. No, I'm not going to keep on reminiscing on that and keep on every time somebody says something, I feel the need to say something back or posting certain things. Nah. Because I'm happily ever aftering. But I guess people have happily, they have different views of living happily ever after. So, whatever. But it seems to me the way he's talking, it doesn't seem there will be any reconciliation at all. And it seemed like the first Brian McKnight Jr., that's what he was um, hoping for. Because he posted a reel of him years ago with Brian McKnight, his other brother, and him singing a Christmas um, song together, all together. And he was saying that, you know, he wished that his family was still together, was together, but he's going to keep hope alive. I don't know. I hope you're hoping in Jesus. That's the only one who could do that. Because Brian McKnight seems to be done 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 so certain things 
you know, what's impossible for man is possible for God. Because if there's ever going to be any type of reconciliation between um, this family, everybody just needs to take accountability for what they did and apologize, but change behavior. And then even when a person apologizes, you still can't even, you know, be back to how you used to be. It's going to take time. It might take, it might take months. It may take years. Because you have to know if have you truly changed. But unfortunately, sometimes, you know, is when we lose certain things, that's when we know the value of it. And sometimes if you're really at peace, if you're truly happy, be happy. Don't poke the bear, don't throw subliminals, throw shots and stuff like that, because those things always tend to come and bite you back real hard where it's gonna hurt so if you happily ever after just happily ever after and just leave it like that yes you're hurt and stuff like that you have bitterness and bitterness and resentment but the way that by midnight is doing it doesn't make any sense you know it, and it's wrong. It's wrong. You know, saying this and that certain stuff, you just keep that between you and your wife, you and the, the kids that, you know, that show respect for you. But posting online for people to see, mm, it doesn't make any sense because this shouldn't have been trending anyway, but it's trending and we're talking about it. Anyway, that's all I had to say in the situation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.